Hello everyone, welcome again to Dubai Chess and Culture videos. My name is Angelia and today we will talk about strategy. As you could learn in the previous videos about tactics and what could be the tactics motives, today we will discover what is this secret relation between strategy and tactics. As we have um, opposite sides in life, like we have day and night, we have the, the sun and the moon. In chess, we have white and black, we have one side of the board and another. All these opposites could not exist without each other. This is the same about tactics and strategy. Tactics is um, the short plan that we use for calculating the exact moves that will lead us to win material or to give checkmate. Tactics we use when we see in the open position, not defended pieces, when we see weaking, so we can use the things like double attack, pin fork, decoy deflection, skewer, and many others. So it goes like calculation. Example would be, you think about your move, then you do calculation. I played this, my opponent replied this, then I give checkmate, then I win this. So calculation could be one or two moves or can be longer. But the calculation of tactics leads to winning material or giving checkmate. In the other hand, strategy is planning. This is the thinking process. When you are planning what to do with pieces, you think about improvement, you think about better squares, you think about center, you think about where to castle, how to save your king, you also count material. And many other segments are included in, in strategy. When you start the game from the beginning, you cannot make tactics immediately, neither you play the first move tactic. You have first to develop, take a center, develop pieces, castle and later on, later on you can get in the chance to to have some tactics motives neither you can play one side neither another you have always to have them together tactics and strategy so let's make the three basic ideas of uh, strategy first this is material so here in this uh, position you can see that white is ahead of material Two pieces up. How do we count material? We have we know that every piece has a value, so pawn is one point, bishop is three, knight is also three point, rook is five. So we just do the math, calculate all of them. So we can see that here white is having uh, 17 points and black has 11. We don't count the king because king is excluded. King doesn't have any points. King is priceless piece, it's infinity piece because without the king, game is over. So white is material ahead and the most simple way to win the game when you're material ahead is to exchange pieces. So white will not go to search for some tactical approach. White will not search for checkmate. White will simplify the position by giving check exchange pair of rooks, rook takes, bishop takes, and it will be now more easy for white. White can find just the way how to co collect black pawns, promote the new queen, and then give checkmate. So the route, for example, for the knight can be to reach one, another, and then to collect one by one pawn and give a checkmate. The similar position, where approach of exchanging pieces would not be wrong. So white can give rook a check here, exchange pair of rooks, and then with the queen collect the pawns and promote. But white can also use, since black king is not very safe and material is quite reduced here, white can use the move rook e7 and then directly attack the square g7 and give checkmate next move, because it's a little bit more shorter. 
So you have two ways, but the most simple, simple way when you are material up to just reduce material, go to end game and quickly win the game. I mean, easy way to win the game. When we talk about strategy, um, the most important idea is king safety. Because there is no material that will help you if your king is weak. So let's take a look here. White is material ahead. White is rook and knight up, rook and peace. But that, that cannot help because white king is quite exposed, doesn't have enough defense. And in this situation, black is the one who can search for the tactical way of playing in order to give checkmate. So you can see here that rook and knight is not enough for white to save the king. So if you would be black, which move would you use here in order to checkmate the white king? There is discover attack. This is the move bishop captures h3. And you can see that black now gives one more rook for free, let's say, because it's with check. But even this one more rook for white gaining more material will not help because black will move the king and white cannot now stop move queen g2, which will be made. White could only prolong by giving some more check, but it will be just one extra move. Talking about king safety, there is one more example where you can see that most of the black pieces are settled on the white side, queen side of the board. Black collect the pawn, black is pawn up, but black pieces are far away from defending the king. King has the pawn in front, but in this moment, these pawns are not enough. Sometimes in the chess game, you have to pay attention on the alarm, which is ringing around your king. And you have to have a sense to understand what is the moment when you have to keep attention and bring maybe pieces a little bit back towards your king just to defend it. Because now white is having queen, two bishops, and also two rooks who can very quickly join the attack. So this rook can just after one move with lifting, come close to black king and black only has the pawns who is defending the king. I will not show you what white played here. I will leave you this to do as a homework because there is a couple of different ways and all are very nice. You can search yourself. What could white do here? What white can sacrifice? Which idea white can, can use to, to attack, to destroy the guard of the, the black and to checkmate black. So king safety always come first. There is no material that will help you even one or two queens up when king is weak. When we talk about mobility of the pieces, here is one example where you can see that um, white play very properly till this moment, white castle, king is safe, white pieces are having a harmony. What does it mean? What means mobility of the pieces? Let's check the white pieces. Bishops both control the diagonals and they are very open. White knight standing on the center is threatening unpleasant check on the black side of the board. White also having two rooks and both are standing on the open file. Open file in chess is file where there is no any pawn. So this is C and D line. White queen is also doing fine and white is having a pawn on the black side, of, on the black territory. And what black is doing with his pieces? Black having no coordination. Black did not castle. Black king is still in the center. Black didn't develop all the pieces yet and this harmony among rooks. Black is not able to castle even uh, if he has a turn because we know that castle is not possible if any square where king has to cross over or to land on is occupied by the opening pieces. So black cannot even make a castle. And what is black, what can black do here? Not much. And when you have a good development and setup of the pieces, then you can approach to some tactical solution. 
So imagine you have like white pieces here in this position. Should be easy to find. Double attack, winning material, or X-ray attack in a couple of moves. Even black is completely lost here. Whatever, if even if it's black turn, whatever black plays, he's still very lost. Speaking about um, harmony after the opening, let's take a look of this position. Here again, we can see how white play very nicely. White is having two pawns in the center, both knights over the center. Bishops also develop on the good squares, castle and rook on the semi-open file. And what black did in meanwhile, black didn't play very appropriate the opening. Bishop is closed, one another didn't develop, king in the center, queen a little bit exposed, and knight not, knight's not very... Knight doesn't have um, good power, let's say, where to go. And here if you would be white, which move would be the best to, to start making a tactical approach here? You can think about it. You can analyze this game as well. Okay, when we talk about strategy, I will give one more example of the open file. Because there is many more. There is a pawn structure, there is a weak square, there is many more different motives in strategy, but I will just keep with this one. This is the open file, which is very important for the rooks. And you can see here that material is equal, also both kings are very safe, but the difference is between good and bad piece. That would be good piece, this rook of white and bad piece, rook of black. So by the move of white, it would be rook to d7, white gained the seventh rank. And seventh rank for white rook, as well as second rank for black, is the most powerful rank for the rooks. So now this rook has a power, so has a space where to move, and also this rook become attacker, attacking piece, yes, because this pawn is under potential attack. That would mean that this rook of black will forever be locked on the square by being defender. So this rook is defending, and this rook is attacking. And now this is advantage of white. Now white can play with the king, bringing closer to the center, push the pawns, and white is having this advantage of more, much more powerful piece. So this is the good piece versus the bad piece. And the last example, we can combine strategy and tactics in one. You'll probably wonder how tactics can happen in this simple position. Yes, material is equal, bishop versus knight. None of king is in danger except that white king is more active because white is king is in the center and the king is the most important piece when end game comes. So white will move and improve the piece, bishop from f1, to the square b5. What does bishop on b5? The bishop restricts the black knight. You can see now that black knight is trapped. Black knight cannot move in any single square. So we can do this way. Strategy is thinking what to do. So now we finish, we cut the black knight. So this is strategic, the strategic way of uh, the move. We should be five and then we think the tactical way is this how to win the knight. This will be how for tactics. And then we can find the route for the white king, this or another way to win like this or another way and black, white will win the black knight with the king. So like that. There's a nice saying of um, the former world champion, Bobby Fischer. He said that tactics flow from a superior position. What does it mean? How can we get superior position if we don't use some strategy way of playing, if we don't put pieces on the right squares, if we don't increase activity in the center? We cannot lead to tactics if we don't do first 
those things. So I hope this video helps you to have a more wide understanding. And also don't forget that you can never use one without another, that you always have to keep them together and to make a good balance between tactics and strategy. Thank you for watching and hopefully see you soon.